In the first quarter of 2025, the United States added an enormous amount of clean power, particularly solar and batteries. Here are the numbers behind the renewable energy rise in America, which has been partly stalled, unfortunately, because of Trump. But these numbers are still still pretty impressive. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. If you'd like to become a member on the channel, that'd be awesome. I'll put a link in the description below. You do get access to some videos not on the regular section of the channel. The United States installed 7.4 gigawatts of utility scale solar wind and energy storage in the first quarter of 2025, falling just short of the record 8.1 gigawatts installed in the first quarter of 2024. Solar led the way for clean energy installations with 4.4 gigawatt added in Q1, followed by battery storage with a quarterly record of 1.6 gigawatts and wind with 1.3 gigawatts. You can see here, battery storage is skyrocketing. I mean, when I say a record, it's not even close to any other quarter. Massive amounts of battery storage is being installed in the US right now. The 4.4 gigawatt of solar added in quarter in the quarter was 30% lower than the record first quarter in 2024. You can see what Trump's uh, policy changes, how they are having an effect. Florida led the states for the first quarter installations in 2025, adding 894 megawatts of new capacity, or just over 20% of all grid-scale solar across the United States in the quarter. So clearly, Florida is doing incredibly well. But really, looking at these numbers, Texas is by far smashing the rest of the United States. I mean, looking at the renewables installed by Texas, they are more than twice as much as second place Florida. Or maybe not more than twice, it's about twice as much. And that's pretty normal. That's been the case for a long time. The irony is, a lot of people think of Texas and they think of it as, oh, that's uh, really backwards, there are Republicans there and renewable energies, they'd just be burning coal. But actually, it's not the case at all. Texas is installing renewables at a much faster pace than any other state in America. As you can see, in third place was Indiana, followed by Ohio, Wyoming, Kansas, Illinois, California, Wisconsin, and Mississippi. The 435 megawatt Duns Bridge Solar 2 in Stark County, Indiana, owned by the Northern Indiana Public Service Company and developed by Next Era Energy Resources, was the largest solar project to begin commercial operation during the quarter. The project is paired with a 56 megawatt, 225 megawatt hour battery storage system and delivers power to NIPSO's customers in northern Indiana. Grid-scale battery energy storage is undergoing an installation boom, with total capacity climbing 65% year-on-year. So grid-scale energy storage is massively increasing. 65% year-on-year is pretty cool. I mean, imagine if we see similar numbers again next year, 65% year-on-year. The two largest battery storage projects to come online in the first quarter were Next Era Energy Resources Silver State South Storage in Nevada and AES Indiana's Pike County Energy Storage in Indiana. Both projects had a 200 megawatt capacity with four hour duration design. To date, the United States has a cumulative 156 gigawatts of grid scale wind power, 134 gigawatts of utility scale solar, and 30.6 gigawatts slash 83 gigawatt hours of battery energy storage. In other words, you're wasting a lot of renewables. Uh, you still need a lot more battery storage to be able to utilize those renewables co really correctly. In total, the United States has 321 gigawatts of clean power capacity in operation, or enough to power 80 million households. Looking ahead, the project pipeline for clean power is growing. Over 184 gigawatts of solar wind and storage are currently in development, increasing 12% year over year. The steady growth of the pipeline in recent years can be primarily attributed to battery storage and solar, which have expanded by 35 gigawatts and 21 gigawatts since the first quarter of 2022. Clean power is shovel ready at scale with unprecedented demand for growth, demand growth for electricity, we must send consistent investment signals across the energy sector, said ACP CEO Jason Grumet. We have the tech, investment capital, 
and workforce required to build the 300 billion plus of clean energy projects in our development pipeline. Now, this is just one company. The greatest threat to a reliable energy system is an unreliable political system. And obviously he's referring to Donald Trump's administration. AGP said the industry's growth is particularly strong though in Republic-leaning states, which is a shock, where domestic manufacturing and energy production has created nearly 650,000 direct and indirect jobs and generates $3.5 billion in annual tax revenue and payments to landowners in rural communities. Renewables are actually working out really well for these states. However, a Republican-led House of Representatives has passed a budget reconciliation bill that the Solar Energy Industries Association labeled as unworkable legislation. Uncertainty related to the fate of tax credits has already led to an estimated $14 billion in cancelled clean energy projects and factories in 2025 alone. And we're only in June. Among other changes, the proposed big, beautiful bill would eliminate the clean energy investment tax credit and production tax credit five years ahead of schedule in 2028. The bill next faces the Senate for a vote. Let's hope this, this actual so-called big, beautiful bill doesn't get through. But sadly, I think it is likely to do so. Guys, let me know. What are your thoughts on this? If you're from the United States, how do you feel about this situation right now? Let us know in the comments. Where is Australia headed as a country? Are we headed in the right direction? Are we moving away from fossil fuels? Are we doing what we need to do? Actually, yes, we are. A lot of naysayers have been saying that wind, solar and batteries are going to collapse in Australia, that um, we need nuclear and that it's not heading in the right, Australia is not heading in the right direction. That, um, I've said many times I believe that that was false. Fortunately, I got this one right. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Australia has notched up a remarkable run, says Renew Economy, on big battery investment in the first quarter of 2025, with six projects worth $2.4 billion and a combined 1,510 megawatts of capacity and more than five gigawatt hours of storage duration reaching financial close in just three months. I did a, a member-only video on the channel talking about the opportunities in this industry. Many of you have emailed me, contacted me saying, I want to get into this industry. I know it's going to grow. I know there's huge potential. What do I, what part of the industry do I get into? This is what I, this is what I recommend. In some way, the battery storage industry, whether that's residential or commercial, that is the fastest growing industry here. 